all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching game of thrones season eight we have made it to season eight or i could do it like this you know season eight man season eight wow we did it also before we start before we start I got I did get a new mic for the channel my last mic broke we used the jailbait mic for like two weeks I think and we finally got the new one in what do you guys think it's currently right here because I got this boom arm for it which is sick should I leave it right here you know like depends how well you could hear me I guess but I've listened to it already both sides I don't know which one I like better so do you guys like it like kind of in frame do you guys care if it's in frame because could you hear me better if it is or or would you guys prefer up here out of frame you know so let me know please down in the comments but anyways we have made it to season eight I can't I can't believe it who would have thought we would have made it this far not me I'm just kidding shout out, uh, shout out Scott all right so I'm assuming everything wraps up this season. I'm assuming this is the climax the show has been building towards. I expect everything to happen in this season. You know, I expect the end to happen. I expect Daenerys to get the Iron Throne at some point. At the, like, probably the very last episode, we'll be honest. I expect a lot of characters to probably die. I expect a lot of characters to die in this season. Like, I... I like, I fully expect Cersei to die, finally, in this season. Unfortunately, Jamie probably will too, then. Speaking of Cersei, she basically went like this on her deal or whatever. Like, at first she denied them, and then Tyrion went to go talk to her, and then she was like, okay, fine. And then she was like, psych, whatever. And then Jamie's like, no, I'm gonna honor this. I'm going to the north. You know, after she told Jamie, like, you're an idiot for thinking I was even considering that, whatever, right? So, yeah, Jamie's gonna go to the north, help them out. That's the last thing he said. What a bro. Cersei, she, I hope she I hope she meets an awful demise, bro. I hope. I hope it's just a ruthless death. If it's like a somewhat quick death, I'll be kind of pissed. Not gonna lie. I kind of want her to like suffer. Like be eaten alive by the whites. Oh, that'd be lit. But I don't see how that would happen. So maybe not. But something painful like that, hopefully. And Tyrion, nah, he'll probably survive. Jon, nah, he'll probably survive. Sansa will probably survive. Arya will probably survive. Bran, Bran will probably survive too. Theon, Theon's probably gonna die. I will, I will be shocked if Theon does not die. I don't want him to, but I, I expect him to die. Yara will die too. Euron will probably die too. Sir Devos, I, I hope that God he does not die, but he might, he might. I'm like, I'm 50 50 on Sir Devos. I'm 50 50. Yeah. Baelish is already dead. He died in the last episode. Damn, RIP my guy. RIP my guy. I was thinking about it too. I like, don't get me wrong, I like the character, but I think he was portrayed by the perfect actor too. That's, it made me like him even more just by, by the way he was portrayed. So shout out to the actor that played Baelish. He killed it. He, his delivery on everything was so good. It made it so believable. I, I want to watch another, something else that he's in, you know? I think Rob will probably, Rob probably won't die. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Then what, what I was also thinking is uh, after the very last episode of the show, I will probably do like a character tier list in the very last episode. So let me know if you guys want me to do that because I definitely will. I definitely will if you guys want me to. The Hound, okay, the, I'm looking at a list of characters because like, I know I'm going to forget some if I don't look at this list. So like the Hound and Big B, I can see the Hound dying again. Big B, I think I think Big B will be fine. I mean, 50-50 on Big B, actually. Tormund technically died in the last episode on the wall, unless it just shows him like, getting up from all the rubble. It was kind of like an off-screen death, which was pretty shitty. I would have loved it if Tormund like, died trying to protect Jon or something. That would have been pretty sick. Varys? I think Varys will probably... Mm. I'm 50 50 on that too, dude. Melisandre? I don't even think we'll see Melisandre for the rest of the show. She might pop up like once in this season, but I don't think, like, I don't think she'll really be in the show. Lady Mormont? I think she'll be chilling. I, I think she will be. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna butcher this name, but Missandei, the, the translator for Daenerys, 
I, I'm pretty sure I butchered her name, but I think she'll probably die. Beric, Beric's dead. He died at the wall too. Off screen. That's so shitty. The Night King. The Night King. This fucker better die. He better die by like the very last episode. I'll be hot pie. He'll be chilling. He probably won't be in the show again. So like, unless like something, unless like where he's at just gets like absolutely obliterated and nuked, I think he'll be fine. Like if he dies, it will it will be like an off screen thing. So it's like okay, they will they will not go out of their way to kill him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like every relevant character at this point. Like, I mean, if I miss them, they they'll probably die. If I if I missed a character, that means I probably think they'll die because you know if like if I didn't think they die, then I I probably would have named them. So, uh, but yeah, that's my prediction for who lives and who dies in this season. Yeah, and then we also found we Sam also found out John was a Targaryen. Bran saw the wedding between Rhaegar and Lyanna which is really nice so it's confirmed you know it, the stories weren't true about Rhaegar like kidnapping her and everything they peacefully married and stuff like that you know the history books are always written differently from what happened in reality so you never really know they say you know like they said a lot in the show who who wins the war writes the history books and stuff and Robert's rebellion was built on a lie it was confirmed in the last episode which okay now I'm excited for John to hear this news when John's on his way back to Winterfell and so is Sam gonna tell him or is Bran gonna tell him who I don't think it matters who tells him but yeah I have heard this season isn't like that great I'm gonna go into it with an open mind I don't think it's gonna be as bad as people kind of hyped it up to be as bad as you know I just think it's I just think it might be different like the last season and the seasons before it you know were Last season was a lot more action, a lot a lot more fast paced and a lot more action packed and less scheming. Like seasons like one through five were basically just like scheming with like, you know, was still of course having a lot of action in them, just not as much as season seven. And so I wouldn't say season seven was bad. I would just say it's different from the previous seasons leading up to it. So it felt really off. And then, you know, you could be like, oh, that wasn't as good. In, but in reality, I still think it was pretty damn solid. And it was a little bit more predictable than the past seasons, yeah. But I mean, like, whatever. I don't think season eight's gonna be, like, horrible like some people said it was. Like they say it is. I just think it's gonna be different from the last couple seasons leading up to it, so it just feels really bad. But in reality, it's not. I hope that makes sense. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon. Also, early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So, let's get started. Oh, also, I, I also forgot to mention that the Night King kind of destroyed the fucking wall. So that's, that's lit. <laughs> so they should be here very soon, actually. They should be here very soon. Oh, uh, those little kids trying to watch John come back, huh? Oh my god, these are so many men. And my camera, and my fucking light turned off. That's, I, I love that. I love that for us. Oh, it's Daenerys and John. Okay. That's right. Oh, Arya's gonna see the hound. I mean, he knows she's alive, but she, ha she has no idea. And Gendry. I warned you. Northerners don't much trust outsiders. Huh? Dragon. <laughs> Dragons. <laughs> Aria. Aria's reaction to that. That's great. Sansa can see them too. John and Bran. Look at you. You're a man. <laughs> Oh, she looked at him. Daenerys of House Targaryen. My sister, Sansa Stark, the Lady of Winterfell. Wait, Sansa's taller than Jon? What the fuck? <laughs> the North is as beautiful as your brother claimed. As are you. Aww. Facts. Winterfell is yours, your grace. And it's just like episode one when Robert showed up in Winterfell, you know? You don't have time for all this. No, dude, they just broke. Is one of them now. Yep. And the wall, do you know? Yep. The dead march south. <laughs> how, how, how much time you got? Like a day, two days? The wall, I called all our banners to retreat to Winterfell. Mm. Lord Umber, can we expect your people to arrive? We need more horses and wagons, if it please, my lady. <sighs> There's no sense in manning the castles anymore. We make our stand here. 
Your grace. <laughs> no. Wait a more. No. But you're not, are you? No, I guess not anymore. You went to fell a king and came back and... I'm not sure what you are now. A lord? Nothing at all? It's not important. Not important? We named you King in the North. Ah, uh, this, this is really awkward now. If Winterfell, I told you we need allies or we will die. Well, I'll... I have brought those allies home to fight alongside us. I have a oh, Sansa's mean mugger. Keep my Sorry. crown or protect the North. Yeah, I chose you guys. The North. Yeah. That's pretty fucking valid if you ask me. If anyone survives the war to come, we'll have Jon Snow to thank. Mm -hmm. Thanks to his courage, we have brought with us the greatest army the world has ever seen. <laughs> the Unsullied. The Dorthraki. Soon the Lannister army will ride north to join our cause. Oh, we don't know that yet. Oh, they don't know. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, they don't, they don't know about Cersei. It was about that, right? You know, it was like this, yeah. How are we meant to feed the greatest army the world has ever seen? We don't think about those things, okay? I didn't account for Dothraki, Unsullied, and two full-grown dragons. What do dragons eat, anyway? Goats. Whatever they want. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was song. Yeah. Very, very subtle by both of them right there. Daenerys. Danny has to kind of, like, you know, stand her ground on that. Puff her chest out a bit right there. But yeah, we don't know. <laughs> That Cersei fucked us. Yeah, I can't wait till they find that out. That's gonna be, dude, they're gonna be so pissed. Danny's gonna be so pissed. But hey, well, at this point, what can you do? We just gotta fight anyway, you know? Bro, I mean, like, the Lancer army would help, but, like, think about it, dog. We have the Darth Raggy. I would love to see them. I can't, w I hope they fight against the, the Whites and the White Walkers. I hope. Darth Raggy, I got one Darth Raggy taking out at least five Whites before they die, okay? We gotta fight. As far as I know, the Night King has a hundred thousand. We have a hundred thousand Darth Raki, and one Darth Raki's taking out at least five. We're winning, okay? By my math, we're winning. <laughs> it's hard to explain why my wife fled moments after the King's murder. Mm hmm. Many underestimated you. Most of them are dead now. Mm hmm. She's her. No one fears her more than I do, but I promise you'll be Cersei safe. Cersei told you her army was coming north. Mm-hmm. To fight for you. He sounds like, you believe that? You believed her. <laughs> she has something to live for now. She wants to survive. She, nah, she doesn't give a fuck. I used to think you were the cleverest man alive. Yeah, how'd you fall for that? Hey, he was desperate, you know? That's what happens when you get desperate, I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah, Bran, tell me what's going on with Cersei right now. Go Professor X on him. When you get desperate like that, you don't think it's clearly. So, oh, you used to be taller. How did you sneak up on me? <laughs> don't worry about it. If I have a knife through the heart. Uh, I didn't. Uh. Aw, I feel so good. Remember, I remember when he gave her the sword too. Uh. You still have it? Mm, yep, yep. Have you ever used it? Yeah, once or twice. Mm, couple times. <laughs> Have the flux on her. Flarian steel. Jealous? <laughs> Sansa thinks she's smarter than everyone. Mm. She's the smartest person. Mm -hmm. Are you defending her? <laughs> I'm defending our family. Mm. Don't forget that. Never. I get why Sansa's doing what she's doing, kind of why she's thinking this way. But John, John has to do what he has to do, you know. Yeah. Fred, I bring terrible news. Yes. The dead have broken through the wall. Oh, good. <laughs> she doesn't even care. Yeah, the new Ironborn flag. Who the hell is this dude? You picked the losing side. Okay. Fuck yeah, you did. Had to make sure it was recording. But first, I'm gonna fuck the queen. No, you're not. She will never give it to you, dog. That's what she wants you to think. She can manipulate your horny ass. I swear to God, dude, he he's just as horny as Theon used to be. An elephant. Uh, no elephants. Yeah, why the fuck were there, what? That's disappointing. Golden Company had elephants. They are excellent beasts, your grace, but not well suited to long sea voyage. 
I mean, I guess I get the elephants in the war, but like, eh. I feel like it's not really necessary. Am I most welcome here? No. You are a true friend of the crown and an honored guest. For now. As a true friend and an honored guest. No, you're not. You're not piping, bud. I was hoping we could talk in private. Nope. To the war. That was our agreement. Wars sometimes last years. You want a whore by one. Is you he? want a queen. Earn her. Mm-hmm. This pussy ain't for sale. How? Win the war. Even her justice. An army. And the Iron Fleet. She, she's never gonna give it to him. My heart is nearly broken. She's gonna have this little kill if her just being annoying. No way. Oh my god, no fucking- wow. I mean, she needs him, I guess. She needs him, so... She needs his- she needs his men. For the war, I guess. Wine glass. I am the only man you ever met who shot a dragon. <laughs> you, you don't even. You, that's that's such cap, Bron. That is such cap. <laughs> it's Bron. I'll let it slide. <laughs> that boy Eddie, the ginger, that's him. Came back with his face burnt right off. Ooh. He's got no eyelids now. How does he sleep with no eyelids? All right, can we stop talking? The ginger. You ever get lonely? I am partial to older gentlemen. Poor girl. The pox will take her within the year. Oh! <laughs> That's tough. Oh, several chests of it, in fact. Waiting for you in a wagon just outside. So she wants to murder someone, but she can't send her soldiers. It's probably Tyrion. If it's a dragon queen she's after. Fuck no. Plans for the Targaryen girl. Yeah, she wants him to go after Tyrion. Our queen's brothers are unlikely to survive their northern adventures, mm. but in the event... Yeah. We need you to... Oh, that's tough, dude. What if Bronn kills Jamie? She dude? has a keen sense of poetic justice. Oh my god, bro, no. That fucking family. <laughs> what do we do for the manor ridser of her treasonous brothers? Oh my god. Dog, no way, Bron. I don't even think Bron pulls the trigger. If he gets the chance later on, there's no way he gets. There's no way he does it. There's no fucking way. I wanted those elephants. <laughs> anyway, oh, and they fucked. All right, cool. Um, I feel like Bron will be in the situation later on to kill them, but he's not gonna do it. He's no. He's like, I can't. I can't. You might be the most arrogant man I've ever met. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. Yeah, he matches her energy, dog. No, I want to be alone. Not exactly, but in a different way, I guess. I'm going to put a prince in your belly. There already is one, dog. She's like, well, how the fuck did I just do that? <laughs> She's like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. Oh! Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's Theon! Yes. Damn, okay. This is already more impressive than I thought he was gonna be. You're coming with me. I came back. I hope he doesn't die. Come on, come on, come on. Please don't die, Theon. You're in, he just pipes Cersei, so he's not even here. Unless he's on his way back and he happens to be here at this exact moment. <laughs> yeah, that's that's valid. But oh, come on, we gotta go. No time to waste. Let's go. Come on. I hope please, please, can we both just make it out of here alive? Please. Please. Oh. Okay. I guess we made it out. Okay, cool. Not if he's in King's Landing with all his men and his ships. Mm-hmm. We can take our home back. Fuck yeah. The Daenerys went north. The Daenerys will need somewhere to retreat if they can't hold the north. Dead. Somewhere the dead can't go. Mm hmm. And we'll hold it down for her in the Iron Islands. Sick. You're my queen. I go where you command. Yes. You want to go to Winterfell? He does. To fight for the Starks? He does. Go. Oh, my heart. 
But his dead may never die. And his dead may never die. We kill the bastards anyway. Mm. The car stocks. One of the better sigils. Oh, we caught him back? Beats an onion anyway. Oh, that was rude. Oh. Not so long ago, the Starks and the Car Starks were slaughtering each other on the battlefield. Rob cut that fool's fucking head off in season three. So they were all ups after, at that point. And they joined Ramsay. But now they're back. You want their loyalty? You have to earn it. I sense that you're leading to a proposal. On the off chance that we survive the Night King, what if the Seven Kingdoms, for once in their whole shit history? They do make a handsome couple. You overestimate our influence. John and Daenerys don't want to listen to lonely old men. Our queen respects the wisdom of age. Of course she does. Respect is how the young keep us at it, so we don't remind them of an unpleasant truth. Nothing lasts. Yeah. Know what that had to do. Mr. doesn't like me. Yeah. If she can't respect me. That's a problem. What's wrong with them? They don't like the north. It's too cold, probably. I don't know how to ride a dragon. Dude, no shot. Nobody does until they ride a dragon. Yeah, what if you fucking fall off and die? This is too risky, but... <laughs> He's so scared. Wow, <laughs> she's she's all alone, dude. What do you even hold on to? There's no saddle. That they don't have a saddle, dude. Like, <laughs> there's no way you can hold on to like to the back of him. Like, what do I hold on to? You, yeah. Whatever you can. Oh, there's a little, there's handles right there, I guess. Oh, oh, stomach just drop. That's a stomach drop. That's such an adrenaline rush. You've completely ruined horses for me. <laughs> we could stay a thousand years. Mm, yeah, it's, pretty, it's beautiful. Yeah. Dude, I, f I feel like we're per Oh, wait, is he gonna get in a hot tub like he did with the Ygritte? Pay it for a southern girl. So keep your queen warm. Oh, no. They're getting in the hot tub. Oh, they're like, back off. Back off my girl, dog. <laughs> What, what is he? Oh, <laughs> bro, look at that. Look at those eyes. That, that's intimidating as shit. It's like her, it's literally her bigger, her big brother, you know? Protective older brothers, you know? <laughs> Technically her younger, but bigger brothers. Isn't easy making a blade that big with dragon glass? Cripples and cocksuckers. Bro, shut off. Leave him be. Mm. Some motherfucker. <laughs> You left me to die. <laughs> First I robbed you. You're a cold little bitch, aren't you? <laughs> he, he respects it, though. Guess that's why you're still alive. Yeah. Forge, then. Oh, is that a command, Lady Stark? Don't call me that. As you wish, my lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, throw it back. Can you make it or not? You already have a sword. <laughs> Lord Glover wishes us good fortune, but he still. <laughs> wow. What a hoe. House Glover will stand behind House Stark as we have for a thousand years. Yeah, this is me shit. Okay. I'm yeah. behind Jon Snow, he said. Yeah. The king in the north. Yeah, that's probably why. You didn't tell me you were going to abandon your crown. I... Do you think we can beat the army of the dead without her? <laughs> I fought them, Sansa, twice. Who holds what title? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Without her, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, John. put... Uh, I mean, uh, I get, I get both sides. I get both sides. It's tough, but I'm siding with John more than Sansa on this one. She'll be a good queen <laughs> for all of us. Did you bend the knee to save the North? Yes. Well, because you love her. Maybe that too. Then maybe that's a little bit into it. Maybe ninety ten on that. Once again, I feel so bad for Sir Jorah, bro. He went through the most just to try and be with her, and then John just swoops her. <clears throat> oh, oh. <laughs> so you're the man. I'm. I'm him. The one who saved Sir Jorah when no one else could. Yep. 
I'll have to make some changes in the citadel when I take my throne. A great service merits a great reward. Love it. Good. A few books from the citadel. <laughs> yeah. Also a sword. From the yeah, his dad. His dad's. Yeah, we're gonna need that actually. Not Randall, Tolly. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, no. I offered to let him retain his lands and titles if he bent the knee. He refused. Yeah. No. This is so shitty. No. I'd be allowed home again. Now that my brother's the Lord. <laughs> your brother stood with your father. Oh, that's tough. You just got him twice. I feel I feel like he his dad the his dad hurt the dad one hurt but he was like all right whatever he was a dickhead but then his brother that that broke him no oh, that one really hurt Sam that one really hurt him oh that's I feel so bad for my boy Sam oh oh god Sam's literally distraught dude rightfully so though. I mean, is no one just gonna push Brand's wheelchair? And, what, are you just gonna leave him there all night? Oh, he's waiting, okay. It's time to tell John the truth. No? You're his brother. Shouldn't you tell him? I'm not his brother. Yeah, technically not. He trusts you more than anyone. Mm -hmm. Ned. Oh, Sam. He's here to tell John what's good. Will you hide him from me? Of course not. What are you doing bro. in Winterfell? Yeah, wait, bro, this is the first time we've seen him since. The Citadel already. Yeah, it's been a minute. John died in Sam. Yeah, all that happened before they saw each other. Don't you know? Know what? Daenerys. Yeah. We did my father and brother. Yeah. We were prisoners. I don't think he knows that. Either. She didn't tell you. No. Well, well, it's not. I'm so sorry. It's different than that. It's not like she did it because she knew, you know. She, you know. We need to end this war. Yeah, she did it because there were enemies and they didn't bend the knee, you know. Sean probably wouldn't have done it, but. I executed men who disobeyed me. If that also is true. spared men, thousands of wildlings when they refused to kneel. I wasn't mm -hmm. a king. I, I, th I think Danny did what she had to do. Hey, I'm not king in the north anymore. I'm not talking about the king in the north. I'm talking about the king of the bloody seven kingdoms. Hmm. <laughs> yep, he's the heir to the throne now. Not Danny. Your mother was Lyanna Stark. Yep. And your father was not Ned. The real father was Rhaegar Targaryen. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. Ah! I'm sorry. I know it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. How was John supposed to believe him, too? Like. My father was the most honorable man I ever met. Mm hmm. So. It doesn't make sense, but... You said he lied to me all my life. He did it out of honor. Ned Stark, he promised your mother he'd always protect you. Mm-hmm. He did. Robert would have murdered you if he knew. Mm -hmm. You're the true king. Aegon Targaryen, sixth of his name. Damn! Daenerys is our queen. She shouldn't be. Nah. John, no, John's not gonna do it. No, That's John's. Treason. It's the truth. No, John, no, John's not gonna do it. You gave up your crown to save your people. Would she do the same? Ugh. I feel like Sam really wants this now, especially because she killed his his dad and brother now. So Sam really wants this. He's gonna push John really hard to do this, but. Oh, <gasps> this motherfucker's not dead? Okay. I mean, let's go, but like, how, literally how? Okay, that means, yeah, Barrack's alive too, that means. Damn, this seems hella dark, can't see shit. My brightness is up all the way too. Oh, oh. oh my god, mother. He's got blue eyes! I've no. always had blue eyes! <laughs> That's all funny. They're not that blue. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, they wanted us to think it was gonna be the Night King, but no. But I had a feeling it wasn't gonna be. Damn, this fool looks old now. Oh my god. But he looks good. But he looks great. I'm really happy he's still alive. I'm so happy. 
Oh my god. The Umber boy. Damn. It's a message. Damn. From the Night King. Yep. His arm is between us and Winterfell. We'll get there before the dead. Okay. We just have to hope the Night King doesn't come first. <gasps> oh fuck me. That Loki's here. Oh my fucking god. That's tough. It's that kid though too. I mean, ah. Oh, it's Jamie! Let's go! Oh my god, he looked a little different for a second. Did he dye his hair so he wouldn't be recognized, you know? Yeah, he probably did dye his hair. And he's here to help, you know? Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jamie probably feels like, shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, this- Fran's like, you motherfucker, you did this to me. You did this to me. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Oh, my God. Oh, that, that was good. That was really good. That was good. All right. Well, that was Game of Thrones. Season 8, episode 1. I liked it. I had a, I had a lot of fun in this episode. This episode, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this season so far, even though it's only episode 1. I don't see anything like that's that bad about it to be honest so i don't know but anyway okay a lot kind of happened in this episode a lot kind of happened so a couple things i want to talk about first one sam and john talking about john's true parentage and everything right i feel like that conversation would have happened a lot differently if sam didn't know that danny killed his parents now he's really pushing for john to take the throne and not Danny. It's a little bit personal for Sam now, right? But Sam did make a good point. You know, John said he had to do what he had to do to save everyone in the North and stuff. He had to bend the knee because of that. But then Sam said, would she have done the same? Or would she do the same? Whatever. That's a very good point because I cannot say for sure that she would. Danny is a very strong person. But she's also she's also very stubborn. I cannot I can't I truly can't see her making that type of compromise, you know. But I mean that shows how dedicated she is and how much ambition she has to getting the throne. But if the roles were switched for like whatever reason and she was still trying to get the throne, I mean well it's two it's two different complete situations, you know, two completely different situations. Like John never even John never even wanted to be king of the north. He never gave a shit about that. So it's like, okay, well as long as I can keep everyone in the north safe, yeah, I don't care. I'll bend the knee, I don't give a fuck. You know, Danny's wanted this since like day one. So it's like you know, two different journeys to get where we are now, but like still. Let's just say for like some reason Danny had to bend the knee to save everyone in the world. I don't know if she would do it. But I ultimately but I don't feel like John's gonna do anything about it and with this information, this is insanely hard for him to believe. It's like Ned was the most honorable man he ever met in his life. Whatever he knew in his life. Why would like it's probably so it's a lot for John the process, okay? It's like, well, first of all, assuming it is true, like, why would he lie about it then, you know, well, to keep you safe from robber and everything, which is an honorable thing to do in and in of, in and of itself, but still. Kind of, also what I thought about too was, I remember one of the last things Ned said to John was like, next time I see you, we'll talk about your mother and everything. And obviously, we, ne we Ned never got to tell him about it, but Ned was technically in that room with the statue being there. So that's cool. That, that's really cool to see. But one thing I loved about this episode was all the reunions. It was so good. It was so good. And it was really cool to see in the beginning of the episode, it was just like episode one of season one where Robert came to Winterfell and everything. But this time it's like Daenerys and it's like, damn. The reunion I loved to see was Jamie and Bran. This is the first time they saw each other since episode one of season one, which is insane to think about. And then John and Arya, pretty sure it was like episode two or three was the last time they saw each other. That's insane to think about too. Like, oh my, it's been so fucking long. I feel like this is gonna be really interesting for Jamie. Cause like Br Brand was Brand was looking at him like like that, you know, and Jamie was like, oh fuck. That's the kid I pushed. You know, like ah I feel like Jamie has so much just remorse for him now and just so much empathy. I mean, actually, actually, 
I feel like Jamie was the one that Bren was expecting to see. Like he said, he's waiting for a friend or like an old friend or something. And I was like, okay. I was thinking about. It. I was like, who, who is he waiting for? And then yeah, Jamie pulling up right there, and Bran just staring him down, just mugging him right there. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm I'm curious to see where that goes. I I feel like J Jamie genuinely feels really fucking shitty about it. Like, and when he like back when he did it season one, he was like, fuck it, fuck them kids. You know, if he dies, he dies. He needs to die. Whatever. Jamie didn't care. But now he's like, but now I feel it's it's completely different. But yeah, I'm thinking about it too. And season one, episode one. The episode ended with Bran and Jamie, and this episode ended with Bran and Jamie too. Damn. I felt like, yeah, I felt like this episode was like a parallel to season one, episode one, honestly. Like, not all the way, not in like most of it, but like in some parts, yes. And then, like, another reunion was the Hound and Arya. That was great. And Gendry, Arya and Gendry. That was great to see too. There was another callback to when Gendry called her Milady back in like. I, I don't remember exactly when, but. Like season two, I believe, I wanna say. And actually, Torment survived. And Beric and all of them and Ed from the Night's Watch. Okay, that's lit. Love that for them. I don't really understand how they survived. <laughs> Cause like they were on top of the wall when that when that fool started when that fool showed up. And that I mean that they started evacuating immediately, but I figured it would take some time. I, I don't know, whatever. I'm just happy they're alive, so like, whatever. You know, and then like, RIP Lord Umber at the very end right there. <laughs> like, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, he needed like wagons and horses and all that, so I like, I guess they went back for that and they got waxed. Then I know like other houses, like Glover pulled out, they're like, nah, we don't serve you. Cause like, I mean, they, they serve John, the King of the North, but not Daenerys, so they pulled out. Which is pretty shitty, so they're probably getting waxed too. Oh, and then Euron finally smashed Cersei, so like, uh, that's cool. I feel like Cersei only did that just to kind of like please him, be like, well, she does need him, and so she's like, fuck, if I don't smash him now, he might dip, so okay. And then Theon saved Yara. He, he did it. I really didn't think he. I didn't think it'd be like this quick, to be honest, but shit, he did it. He redeemed himself slightly, you know? Love to see that. Love to see his arc he's been on. I was kind of hoping he would just stay at the Arid Islands and just, like, chill there. But nah, he he wants to go and fight and serve the Starks and everything. So I respect that. You know, at this point, if he dies, I feel like he's redeemed himself enough to where I can be satisfied with his character. As long as he, as long as he doesn't have, like, a really shitty death. As long as it's not just total dog shit, I will be, I will be perfectly happy with that. So... But yeah, that was Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 1. Comment down below what you thought, thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.